Hi, I'm here in sunny Las Vegas with Richard Torres, the owner of Envy Landscapes. Envy Landscapes is a locally owned and operated professional landscaping company that has served Las Vegas, Summerlin, Henderson, and more since 2008. Whether you're looking for routine maintenance, construction and design, irrigation installation, or even creating your own personally designed getaway at home, they are the guys to call. Join me as we take a look inside how they are creating a unique and creative backyard oasis. I'm James Webster, and this is Owners and Operators. Well, thanks for having us here today. Um, I'd like to start from the beginning. How'd you get into landscape contracting? I actually got into landscaping because my dad owned a landscape company back in the day. Um, he started it when I was in middle school and uh, on the weekends and during the summer months I would spend my time with him driving around, going to his appointments, talking to customers, um, seeing firsthand how he designed these yards and uh, managed the guys, managed the crews and, and grow his company. Very cool. So then, and you started in 08, right? I started the first company in 08, right out of college. Started that company just to basically get uh, on my feet and uh, start doing something, um, primarily to pay for college. Full-time student, so that was my way of being able to pay for college and uh, being able to manipulate my schedule uh, around my schooling. Sure, that um, makes sense. So I would do, uh, back then I was doing yard maintenance, so I was able to clean a couple houses before class. Uh, during classes and after class. Did that for a couple years and then ultimately decided that I wanted to do more. Um, and that's when I started the second company, Envy Landscapes. And I uh, decided to get my contractor's license and decided I would, was gonna continue, continue doing the maintenance but also wanted to do more construction, what my father did. That makes sense. Uh, it's what you what you were born into, right? Yep, loved it. Uh, so you, you, you did kind of go into it a, a little bit, but but what was your original vision for the company and has it changed much? Uh, originally, I wanted to stick to just basically maintenance, um, but I wasn't happy. I was, felt like I was always missing something. Um, like I wasn't doing what I could have done to my full potential. Um, and that's when I decided to do the construction part of it um, and expand that part of the company. Give us an idea of what, what's your involvement in the in the day to day of the either the project or the, or the business. Um, I typically try to not to get too involved with the projects. I let my guys do their jobs. Um, I do try to visit as many jobs as I can. I can't visit them, all of them. I like to stop by, um, visit the guys, um, look at the project, see how things are going. Uh, try to go towards the end of the project just to kind of see how things are flourishing. Um, other than that, I, I try to focus more of my time on the future advertising, um, looking in advance of how the market's reacting, how the economy is, and try to adapt uh, for the future. So that way our guys don't feel um, any pressure whatsoever of the changes that are coming up so ahead. So it sounds like you've, you've made the full switch from working in the business to on the business. Correct, yeah. Right? yeah. Which is really where all business owners really need to be in order to, to continue that success. <laughs> Give us a, a, like an overview when, when you get a new client, and, and you did kind of go into this a little bit before, but how do you start the project? Once you, you know that, all right, this is what we're doing, uh, what's first steps? Uh, first step is to secure the material. Uh, from the pandemic, that's one thing that we have struggled with, um, especially in the busy season, is uh, securing our materials that we need. Um, and we let customers know, hey, there, if it's not available, hey, there's, this is not available, but we have this other option. Um, we do try to stock up on things um, in advance, so that way we don't have any hiccups. We try to start a project, and we will not leave the project until we're finished. Um, when, I know some other people like to um, start it, can't get materials, hold off, and we, we try to avoid that, continue yeah. with the project. Um, we'll have the uh, customer uh, meet up with the project manager the day one. I'll go over the whole project, make sure everybody's on board, make sure the foreman on that crew also is on board, um, you know, voice any concern that they may have and any concerns that we may have, um, and then proceed forward with the project. As the project's going forward, there's certain things that might have to be tweaked here and there. The foreman usually will notify the project manager and the homeowners 
I will be notified as well as he knows. If it looks good on paper, it might look good on paper, but when it comes to be actually being done in real life, it may not work, so I might have to tweak some things and then um, go through the whole project and towards the end, um, we'll have a walkthrough with the customer, make sure that they are happy, make sure if uh, all their questions are answered and, and uh, make sure that everything they expected from us was accomplished and more. Very nice. What type of equipment do you use? Uh, a lot of it is um, um, smaller machines, um, mini excavators, uh, mini bobcats. Um, some uh, homes here in Vegas are on the smaller size backyards. Um, we are limited to what we can actually use in the backyards. Um, so a lot of it is done by uh, wheelbarrow. All right, so the designs, who, uh, I guess, walk us through that. Who, who creates these designs? Is it you? Is it with the customer? Are you guys c collaborating on it together? Or does most people say, I know what I want, and, and this, is what, this is what I'm looking for? So our customer will contact us. Uh, usually they know what area they want to work. If they want to work in the backyards, the front yards, and usually they have an idea for the most part. Uh, they have an idea of what they want to do with the yard. Our sales reps will meet with the customers. And we usually try to ask them, what's the purpose of the backyard? What are you gonna be using it for? What's your ultimate goal? Off of that, uh, we ask them what they would like to see in the backyard. Um, what kind of um, features they would like to have, what kind of accents they would like to have, what they like, what they don't like. From there, they, the, the sales representative will sit down with the customer, design something. Um, usually it takes you know, two or three interactions back and forth of tweaking design here and there. And then ultimately, from there, uh, decide on something in concrete what they want. We'll give them a quote for that and then uh, proceed forward. Nice. So kind of alluded to this one as well. And I also know, because I saw on your website, you guys do use the software that, that shows like a 3D rendering Correct, of yes. what the project could look yeah. like. Yeah, we do a 2D to design everything. And then if the customer requests, we'll do a 3D. 3D. So that way it helps the customer visualize what they are going to get for the project. Back in the Northeast, we uh, we have maintenance crews are, are cutting the grass and, and trimming the hedges. What is it? What does your maintenance crew work on? Uh, we do have grass here uh, because we do live in a desert. Um, not very many people nowadays have grass. Everybody's switching over to the artificial turf, um, but it's more desert landscaping. But we keep ourselves pretty busy doing that. Um, I, because on the East Coast it rains a lot more. You guys are a little bit more wetter over there. Um, over here it's. Uh, a little bit more difficult if you don't know what you're doing to keep the grasses green and the plants looking their, their best. What, what were some of your favorite jobs that you've, that you've done that, that you really, that you were impressed with or you were happy with? Uh, or just the, maybe you, something happened with the client that, that really worked out? Um, one of the projects I'm the most happiest with would probably be one of the, this one actually here that we're in the process of working on. Um, this one because I, I like the in-ground fireplace feel. It provides a different atmosphere for a yard. It sets the mood. Um, some, something where people come together, join around, and share you know, a memory and, and good times with. Um, so I would have to say the, uh, projects that have an in-ground fireplace like this. Also, um, I, I love the waterfalls. Um, we do waterfalls as well, then uh, we try to make them look as natural as possible. And one that stands out to me the most is one that was uh, pretty high in structure, had the, about three or four falls on it. And um, it, the, the noise that it made as the rushing water came down um, the weirs, it was just, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, it's, so beautiful and sounds amazing. Tranquil. Yep. Tell us maybe, give us some examples of some issues that might arise during, during the project. Unforeseen. Uh, unforeseen. Uh, doesn't happen often, but it would happen in the past where we have placed a special order for a certain product and uh, we hold it there with the vendor for a period of time. Uh, that way we don't have to use our yard to stock it and transport to save some money on fuel there. And um, where the product either gets misplaced, damaged, um, or accidentally sold to another company. That, that would be one of our, our things. Also, um, when the peak of the season, it's just difficult to get certain products. Um, this year we experienced a shortage in cement for a period of time. Wow. I was able to be, uh, I was fortunate I was notified about that through um, acquaintances in the industry and I was able to locate some and uh, bought as much as I could so that way we didn't feel a hiccup on that. Yeah, sure, day. that's smart. Richard, what's the hardest part of running the business? I would say the hardest part of running a business is um, predicting the future and managing the stress that owning a business um, gives. Sure. I'm with you on that. What's next for NV Landscape? I would like to grow more of the maintenance side of the company. Um, right now, the construction side is doing pretty good. 
I would like to see more, the maintenance side grow a little bit more. Um, I would also like to get more into the commercial industry as well. Uh, we do do some work right now on the maintenance side for uh, commercial, but I would like to get more involved with the construction side and do some more. Yeah, that's some that's more really uh, cool. commercial. Rich, I want to thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time today. Thank you. Appreciate you showing us around and, yeah. and uh, keeping us in the loop on the project. Thank you for joining us today at NV Landscapes. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and look forward to bringing you inside more interesting businesses just like this. So be sure to follow us so you do not miss out. And if you are interested in having owners and operators showcase your business, please comment below and we will be in touch. Until next time.